my name is Paul Hicks. So we've been farming here a long time. And this particular farm sets just on the west side of Highway 287, which is very busy thoroughfare. This particular farm is 180 acres. We raise a lot of corn, some sugar beets, some small grain like wheat, quite a bit of hay, alfalfa, and grass. Any of those crops are all irrigated, so water is paramount to what we do. Agriculture is a economic and cultural cornerstone of Larimer County. 30% of the land area in Larimer County is agricultural land. And what we've seen as of 2012, a public outreach study we did, 4,500 acres per year are being transitioned from agriculture into other uses. If we don't do something different under the status quo, we are gonna lose half of our farmland. And so this just massive loss over time, we have been encouraged by the public and by our agricultural advisory board and open space advisory boards to try and address this problem. And we did that through this creative partnership, which was the first of its kind water sharing partnership in the state. One of the reasons that a lot of irrigated agricultural land hadn't been conserved was the cost. And when you look at this farm as our pilot project and the cost of it, of the land and the water, about 80%, maybe just a little more, was actually the cost of the water, millions of dollars. So how does a public open space program justify spending that much money on one irrigated farm when we could spend that money on thousands of acres of ranch lands like we have in the past? And so we needed partnerships to make it work. We got a great partnership to bring in expertise, water and ag experts from the Colorado Water Conservation Board, $100,000 from Gates Family Foundation, we got $100,000 from the town of Berthet, and then of course the massive partnership in almost $4 million from the city and county of Broomfield. When this project came along, I had been seeking out different ATMs, alternative transfer mechanisms, and that's just a fancy way to say a unique water sharing partnership between municipalities, agriculture, environmental groups. There's a number of different ways these can be organized and obtained, but very difficult up until this point. The exciting part of this partnership we have with Larimer County is that it's the first perpetual water sharing agreement in our state. And it'd be a great way to maintain a working farm and give the municipality, in this case Broomfield, a secure supply in drought years, which is the most critical time. I think it's a good plan. I think it's a plan that um, will help preserve water for agriculture land. It also helps the cities in extremely dry years. They have an opportunity to lease some of that water and then when the weather changes back to more normal, then the water is still with the farm. This is a good step, I think, in trying to keep as much as possible into agriculture. I don't think any of us ever envisioned that it would be the success that we feel it is today and the affirmation of the interest in it around the state, that to me makes me incredibly proud to have been a part of this project, to have stewarded it from idea to implementation. And I can't wait to see how others might take it and make it even better. I'm really proud to be a part of creating something new and a new option for farmers and municipalities to work together to address uh, continuing agriculture on the Front Range and our increasing water needs in municipalities. And with the creation of this new tool, they have that. It may not be perfect, it certainly isn't, but uh, they have something now to work from that when we started this project, there wasn't. 
I, I'm just extremely proud to, to have been a part of that.